plan to get here with this, to get to this final with this club? Um, obviously, it means a great deal because everything, I mean, it's a given that everything you play in, you want to win. Um, but the most important thing uh, for myself is the team performance and the football that we're playing and we're trying to play leading into the season proper and, and to be here is amazing, especially for the club because it's, I think, 10 years since they've been able to uh, play for a trophy. So, um, you know, pretty excited. I know it's been a long, like you mentioned, it's a long time since that. Do you feel this, um, if you were able to win tomorrow, even just the run itself, has kind of brought back a bit of a good vibe about the club? Yeah, I think any club that wins a cup final, there's always a good vibe about it. Um, but in saying that, you know, the result is important for us as a team and, and for a club, but the, the performance is probably just as important uh, with the brand of football that we're trying to play. So you know, we want to make our supporters proud and we don't just play for, for Brisbane Raw supporters, but we represent the whole of Queensland as well. So we um, are looking forward to the game and hopefully put on a good performance. Chloe from Network 10, um, lovely to have you guys here. Thank you. Um, they're calling you the surprise package of the tournament, but I mean, probably was it a surprise to you or you were always confident you could play this well? <laughs> um, with the brand of football, like I said, that I wanted to implement coming to the club. Um, a little bit of a surprise, I didn't know how quickly we'd get there and um, and how quickly the players bought into the brand of football that we were trying to play. So, in a way, it is a it is a surprise, but we're very grateful to be here. That's for sure. And considering where you guys were on the end of last season in the A leagues, um, how excited, I guess, is the group going into the A league season when you're playing this kind of football? Yeah, um, look, from where we were last season, couldn't quote you on the actual position. I think it was eighth or ninth. Um, we, we knew we had to turn a corner going going forward for the, the following season and Ross coming in, we were all excited by his appointment. Uh, we knew where he'd been before, some of the players had worked with him previous, so we kind of knew what we were getting asked, getting in Ross and we were excited about it. And um, yeah, look, I think we've turned a huge corner uh, with the season coming as well. This has been a, a, a positive distraction. I mean, when I say distraction, obviously pre-season is a very long pre-season here in Australia. and. And week by week, we've been ticking off the games, and we've never looked too far ahead. We never, um, we never was looking at the final or the semi-final. It was just week by week we were ticking off, and it provided us with competitive games. And it's been a, it's it's given us a, a way of of show, showcasing of what we've been working on in training because this has been as tough as as, as productive preseason as I've been a part of definitely at this club and throughout my career. Is it fair to say Ross, Ross has brought it from back in a way like him? Back in the last year, it felt like you guys were just waiting to get to the end of the season, and you know you obviously had Warren going, and then it was Nick coming in. Like the whole, the whole change is that is that a stretch or is that a fascination? No, it's very fair. Um, we we were at a stage last season where it was kind of just get through the season um, and just finish in a kind of position that was respectable in a way. In which as players, you don't want to be playing like that. You you want to be competing. You want to be. Uh, in the in the top six in the league and obviously competing for trophies and as be it with this is the cup so yeah it's been a breath of fresh air with with Ross coming in and uh, yeah we were excited not just for tomorrow but for the the, the season coming ahead. Any more? Any more? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, coming up against your former boy Jordan um, Courtney Perkins, is there any banter around that? I wondered. <laughs> um, I've had two. To um, it's a good question. That <laughs> uh, nah, banter. I think Jordan's a good young player. Uh, I saw him when he was 16, and then he went away, and then he came back, and I saw him last year when I think he was 19, and he played next to me. Um, another one I got him his move. So I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> uh, no, he's a good player, and yeah, I don't know if he'll be playing tomorrow, but we'll we'll see him out there and. He's a friend, but tomorrow becomes a rival. So yeah, we're, we're looking forward to, to that and um, and competing against him. Do you think that um, Sydney FC gets any kind of a leg up playing at Allianz, considering this is their home ground in the A League season? I'd say absolutely. Um, it's their home ground. They've got the majority of the supporters, and that doesn't phase us either. Um, you know, we're, we're playing against against a one of the top clubs in in the country, uh, coached by. A brilliant coach who's been hugely success, successful here in uh, in Sydney. Um, so huge respect 
to them, and yes, they are. They do have a home ground advantage, but that, again, we're here to play our football and and uh, play it to the best of our ability, and hopefully um, let the result take care of itself. Robbie, yeah, Ross, um, you've got a young squad. Turn things around. This is a big week for them. For a lot of these, for a lot of the kids, it's the first time they've been involved in the first team already. But going all the way to a cup final, how are you feeling? The squad is what's the vibe? Do you have any squad news like officially <laughs> yeah. of how everyone's travelling? Everyone's yeah. fine. Everyone's yeah. fit. <laughs> <laughs> now we do have um, uh, one player who who played through an injury in the last in the semi final, uh, who won't be here. Um, unfortunately, and we didn't realise that he was injured at the time either, although he knew. Um, our, our focus throughout the pre-season, and, and like Tom said, it's been a really good distraction uh, playing uh, every week or every second week uh, in the cup competition, um, because you know it, it, this long pre-season uh, becomes draining, um, but the, the whole pre-season has been focused on improving every single day and every single game. And that's the focus that we've had throughout the week, last week as well, in, on improving in every single training session. Because what we want to achieve is um, to have players be the best footballer that they can be. And that's, that's the coaching staff, uh, our philosophy and, and our mindset. Secondly is be the best team we can be and play the best football that we can play and be exciting uh, to watch, especially for our supporters as well, but also for other other supporters around the country because you know we're entertainers um, to be totally honest um, so that, that's the focus and I've, I've taken I can see the young boys maybe a little bit of nerves but I don't know there's some clown in the team that uh, <laughs> jokes around with them all the time and I just try to keep their you know their nerves intact but I'm sure tomorrow night they will be a little bit nervous but you know nervous energy is always good Tom, more or less the same question. I imagine last year as captain of that side and the, the situation was very difficult to, to, for you to focus on your own performance and yet be captain of a side that's, that's struggling on and off the pitch. How have you seen that change? And with all these young kids, are you the clown? Are you, are you in, has your way of captaining this side changed? And, and are you enjoying it more? He wasn't the clown, it was uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, last year was tough as no, no two ways about that. It, results weren't good enough, but as, as an individual, like uh, football's a team game, and but obviously as an individual, you, you always look at yourself in the mirror first. And for me, I've, last year I felt defensively we were strong, and it was important that we were because we weren't scoring many goals. Um, so yeah, um, as a, from a captain, obviously I wasn't happy at, at results, but. As I say, I can't emphasise enough. We, we feel like we've turned a corner now. Um, like, the, like Ross has said, that we've got some young players coming in now, and we've also got some players that I feel are coming of age now, like the likes of Henry Hoare, uh, Louis Zabala. Um, put me on the spot, here, but I'm, I'm looking for so there's a couple more names there to come out. But players that have been drip-fed first-team football, but are now starting to become regulars, and you're seeing that now. And obviously, you've got you really young players like uh, Tom Waddingham uh, in the side. So. Yeah, there's a, there's a good mix. There's times to be a clown with them, which I am as well, and there's times to be serious with them. Uh, and I feel sometimes you, you, we, we have the perfect match here of, 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 of drip feeding them that the level of seriousness throughout the week and obviously uh, on game day. So, yeah, look, huge, huge potential for some of the players here, really optimistic about their futures. Um, and tomorrow will be another exposure to probably something they've never been used to. But we've got players in the, in the dressing room, leaders that have been there, before and played in finals, grand finals. So yeah, it'll be up to us to, to help them through that. But I'm sure we, we, we've got good, we've got good enough characters from the young end of, uh, of the team to, to, to handle the, the the occasion.